nothing. You listen. They are complete pathetic faggots. Stop the hammering. There's actually a card game called Shithead. You should check it out sometime and maybe play it somewhere in your shithole country, right? <laughs> Christine Walker. 
Speaking with a number of people on the other side, we've had conversations ongoing for a while uh, with regard to um, making sure that we do due diligence here. And I think it would be uh, proper to delay the floor vote uh, for up to but not more than one week uh, in order to let the FBI um, continue uh, to do an investigation limited in time and scope uh, to the current allegations that are there and uh, limited in time to no more than one week. And I, I will vote to advance.
Psychology professor, professor at Palo Alto, which is basically another way of saying she's democratically privileged. That's this mean it kind of. You need to read this. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Whoa! Go! Do not interfere with anything in the Constitution. That must be maintained, for it is the only safeguard of our liberties. And guess who said that? You're, you're never going to believe me. Abraham Lincoln! Yes, the Abraham Lincoln. The same Abraham Lincoln who told Rothschild and Dynasty to fuck off! And he wouldn't bow down to Rothschild, so they had one of their own, in Thomas Wolfe Booth, shoot him at Ford Theater, 
eight days after the end of the Civil War, was it six? I forgot. I think it was somewhere between eight and six, or six and eight and whatever. I mean, what the hell, right? But it was somewhere in between six days and eight days. I'll just shoot the middle and say, a week! Because reasons. Stop the hammering! It's time to go to the... <laughs> <laughs> oh god no oh my god <laughs> Alyssa Milano, the most unqualified journalist in the world, gets an actual citizen of America that's not a Democrat suspended from Twitter for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Because my prophets, it's all about my prophets. Fuck your prophets, Alyssa Milano. You deserve the freaking guillotine. Oh, my God. Oh, you know times are tough when people get suspended and all of them are conservative left to right. I mean, come on, man. You have got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you can't do that or you would be suspended because he's not a Democrat. <laughs> oh, God, I can't, I can't even... Oh, oh my God! I can't. Man. This is too much for me to bear. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What is this? <laughs> oh God, man! You you would think that they'd have a pair of nuts not to suspend this guy, but rather to report themselves. For trying to overthrow the Constitution. But no, they just suspend a conservative anyway. The same way they tried to silence me, but I ended coming back a month later. Ha 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 ha! Good luck with that one, jackass horsey! <laughs> oh, are we really supposed to believe Dr. Ford is a political pawn? Not being used to disrupt Kavanaugh's nomination just in time? Are we really just going to ignore the $900,000 in go fuck me money she raised that's being used as money laundering by the Democrats? <laughs> oh, there isn't a shred of evidence to support her claims. Her case has been archived since 2012, when Mitt Romney was supposed to win, but lost to a king nigger named Obama. If Romney had won, they would have used her to stop his nomination. She's nothing more than a barter paid for non-victim. Not to mention this whole thing has been a complete disgrace and mockery of all things justice. If you watched the hearing yesterday, which most of y'all didn't, some of the Senate leaders were so vicious and obvious with their agendas and wanting to destroy him and his family. Believing Dr. Ford is the right thing to do morally, it's fair, but nobody wants to admit that they completely destroyed Kavanaugh's family and image and life without any proof or evidence. He's notoriously known as one of the most fair judges in American history. Well, that, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? That makes a lot of sense since we're just going to go out on a limb and say that Hillary Clinton donated the $900,000 in Go Fuck Me money under 20,000 separate usernames and false identities under ignorantly, retardedly false pretenses, because of course she did. Well, fuck my day! Shotgun, applied directly to the forehead.
Shotgun, applied directly to the forehead. Shotgun, applied directly to the forehead. Then pull the trigger and watch your life literally go up in smoke. Of course, not that it matters or anything, but you need to know the bastard truth or you need to kill yourself. Simple. It's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid in part by suckers like you. Now get out, this video is over, get off of my fucking channel if you don't like what you see. But if you like what you see, then feel free to stay on as long as you want. I'm here all night. Thank you and good night. Laters. That means this video is over, so go to another one. They are complete pathetic maggots! Stop the hammering! Remember, if you want my permission to download this video, message me on any of my social media channels and ask for it, and I'll give you my IK. And above all else, don't be a jackass. Please, be real. Don't steal.